ladies? I'm here today with my June favorites. As you know, that's about once a month, or in my case, once every three months or so, where I go through and tell you about all the favorite beauty products I've been trying. And I hope you don't mind, but today I'm also going to throw in a little bit of an extra sort of a family favorite, not really beauty related at all. So jumping right in with the lip products, I have number 10 by Kiko. This is their matte lipstick. And I absolutely love this color. It's a gorgeous purple, and I tr I bought it thinking like, oh, I'll probably look like a freak in purple. But honestly, this is the best lip color for me that I've tried so far. I like I love it so much. It's a true matte. It leaves somewhat of a stained finish. I like to put a lip gloss on top of it just to add a little bit of softness, and also because I tend to have lips that lean towards the drier side of things, so that extra little bit helps. Lipstick number two. This one is number 502 from the Kiko. I'll put the proper names and stuff down below, but they don't put the names on the bottom of their packaging. They just put random numbers. So even when you're in a store, in the store, you're not really sure what the name is. But I love this lipstick. This one, I believe, is their Crystal Sheer. Once again, I'll have to double check on that for you. But absolutely love the color. This is a Your Lips But Better pinky color. It's much more moisturizing than the matte lipstick, but also isn't quite as long lasting. I believe the matte lipstick, they claim it lasts 8 hours, which maybe if you didn't eat or drink for 8 hours, that would probably be true. Otherwise, it does slowly start to fade after a few hours. Another product I've been absolutely loving this month is the Zoeva 128 Cream Cheek Blush Brush. Now, it does apply normal blush just fine especially higher pigmented powders because as you can see there's the darker the darker colored hairs and then you have the lighter colored hairs this means it stipples a bit and it'll apply the makeup lighter so even if you're slightly heavy handed this will help make it go on a bit lighter and I have been using lipstick quite a bit this month as a cream blush because I've been loving once again this lipstick and don't have any sort of purpley berry blushes that match it so I've been using it as a blush itself, and then I use this to blend it out, and it's been flippin' fantastic. Absolutely love it for cream products. It also works really well for actual cream blushes and not just lipsticks, but that's what I've been using it for in particular this month. Now, as a last beauty favorite, this is the NARS Sheer Glow in Deauville. Let me explain. Every winter, I take this out and go, ooh, it sits weird on my skin, I don't like it. Why did I spend so much money on this foundation? And every summer I take it out and I'm like, oh, this blends so nicely. It's a little bit more full coverage than I normally go for. I really like CC creams and BB creams and things like that for summertime. But this one just really hits a number, especially for summer weddings and things like that. And so I did a bit of research as to why that was. And I noticed a lot of other beauty vloggers had the same thing happen to them. I've heard Zoella talk about it. I've heard Fleur talk about it. Both of them had tried this before and they didn't like it at all, but then in videos that they put out during the summer, they both mentioned that suddenly they loved it, they didn't know why it didn't work well for them before. Well, I think I figured out why. It is because this is an incredibly heat-sensitive foundation, so if you've bought the NARS foundation and you're like, well, this really sucks, why does it look so chalky or so yeah, on my skin, uh, it's probably because of the temperature. Now, in the winter, in my bathroom, it gets flipping cold because we don't specifically heat the bathroom. And so, this product, when I try and put it on, it doesn't melt really nicely into the skin. If you read the instructions online for this, Francois Nars himself recommends applying it with your fingers so that your body heat will help it blend into the skin much more nicely. Which is why, during the summer, when it's much warmer in my apartment, suddenly this just glides on smoothly and looks like a dream and covers beautifully. So remember, keep that in mind. If you've bought the NARS Sugar Glow and you're like, oh, this really sucks, try it again and please try it when it's a bit warmer out and see if you still like it. You might still hate it, but it's definitely better than throwing it out, right? For my extra special favorite this month, I got Amelia's newborn baby pictures back and we got a family picture. It's our first official family photo and she obviously looks different now because this was taken three months ago, almost, almost nearly three months, she's getting big. But I absolutely love this photo and I look quite ill in it. As you can see, my skin is a bit grey and oof, that was from the blood loss and just not sleeping the first couple days. But I just love the photo all the same and I wanted to share it with you because it makes me so happy. It's definitely my number one June favourite. 
All right, ladies, I hope you have loved June as much as I have. I'm sending you all my love and hugs from France. Please click the thumbs up because that makes it easier for people to find this video in search engines. And please subscribe. I will chat with you all later. Ciao.